And that's not even all of them. They have two more camps nearby. Whichever camp we attack, it's the Ronin in the other two camps that'll cause us issues. They might decide to provide backup or abandon them and escape on their own. But Captain, that would put you in great danger. If we spread our troops too thin, we won't have enough men to guard you. It's too risky. Yep, the traveler eats amateurs like these for breakfast. All right then. We'll deal with them all in one go and rendezvous with you on completion. Cool. Hmm. Paima wonders how everything is going with Kotoku and Yoshihisa. Should we go over and check on them? Captain! Captain, the other two camps have been cleared. The entire rear guard of Watatsumi Island is now secure. Great! <sighs> we solved the Ronin problem and got everyone to look up to us, too. Um, but what's next? Let's go back and check with Kokumi. Finally, we got it done. These Ronin have been bugging me for ages, but Kotoku wouldn't let us at them until now. What? No way could you have taken them down without the new captain here. I was putting the safety of the team first, got it? <laughs> oh, come on. You were just being a coward. Hey, cut the attitude! These guys, honestly. Forget them, let's go! How was it? Did your initiation go smoothly? <laughs> I'm sure you're playing it down a little. Kotoku and the others put you through your paces, I presume. But with your level of ability, I'm sure it was a walk in the park. Since you're back, I take it that the Ronin are now gone from Watatsumi Island? You bet! We sure showed them who's boss! Good. Now we just need to make sure Okubo keeps a close watch to prevent their resurgence. Thank you. I believe in rewarding merit, so you will be compensated for your hard work. Um, let me see. Hmm. Too soon for another promotion, I think. Hmm, I could increase your pay. I gave him an assignment. He's taking part in a surprise attack against the Shogun's Navy. He expressed a desire to be on the front line, so I honored his wishes. Now, speaking of assignments, I have a special mission I'd like to give you. A special mission? Yes. In between Watatsumi Island and Tarasuna, there are some ruins relating to a god who fell in the Archon War. There are several small islands there, often used as a transit point when transporting supplies. Recently, however, supplies stored there have started to go missing for no obvious reason. Stranger still, the Resistance Army passed by and reported they found no signs of danger. I'd like to task you with getting to the bottom of this. It's not urgent, so there is no need to leave immediately. I suggest you take a few days to familiarize yourselves with the army, and also with Watatsumi Island. When Tepe returns, you can catch up with him. Then pick a day when the weather is good to set sail for the islands. Is Tepe really gonna be okay? He has a tendency to dive into action without thinking things through. Oh, Paimon can't help but feel a little worried about him. Oh, why don't we go wait for him at the training grounds? Long time no see! So, how's Swordfish 2 treating you? Getting along okay with everyone? <laughs> well, you're in luck, because this seasoned veteran's got a few leadership tips for you. Raising their pay will boost morale, while giving them a few bounties will act as an incentive to go the extra mile. It's also important to maintain strict discipline at all times, and finally... Uh, wait. What was it? What was it? Wow. Where'd you learn all that, Tepe? I read it in a novel from the Yai Publishing House. 
It was a long time ago. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many Dongo it took to convince my friend to let me borrow it. You're seriously gonna use a novel to tell people how to run an army? Pretty sure that's called being an armchair general. Ha <laughs> ha! That's where you underestimate me. That's right, I'm learning military management on the job now. Just like you, you'd better believe it. Thanks to my outstanding achievements in the recent naval battle, I have officially been made the captain of my very own special operations unit. It's a brand new unit, Herring One. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? I spoke to Her Excellency and she says our uniforms are in production. Let's go collect them together once they're ready. Oh, I can't wait to put them on. We're really gonna look the part. Ah! <laughs> Everything's going great. Our mystery sponsor supplies have really helped turn things around. Will Paimon get a uniform too? Of course. You're a recognized member of the Watatsumi Island Resistance. Yippee! Captain, a new assignment has come in. Thank you, soldier. I'll be there on the double. All right, I'd better go. <laughs> See you again soon. You'd better watch out, partner. At the rate I'm going, I'll overtake you if you're not careful. Ha! In your dreams, mister! <laughs> I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. I'm at the top of my game right now. This is my time to shine. Paimon's so surprised that Tepe's been made a platoon captain. He must have been working super hard. Let's take a break, then go check out these Archon War Ruins. This is a surprise. I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. I just got back from delivering some supplies to the front line. I figured I'd stop by and clear any threats in this area on the way back. <coughs> Are you alright there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worse for wear. I'm fine. It's nothing. I must have caught a cold a couple of days ago while I was out at sea. On my way past, I heard that someone had just arrived on the island to investigate, so... I thought I'd come and take a look. Uh, if there'd been some real danger, I might have had the chance to be the hero. <laughs> Shame it was just you guys. I guess I came here for nothing. Pepe, don't you think there's something strange about this place? Hmm. Now that you mention it, <laughs> there is something a little off about it. It could be that the Tatarigami is more palpable here, I guess. We're not that far away from Horobashi's remains. Orobashi? Who's that? A god. Look, there's the corpse over there. Ah, it's a gigantic snake skeleton! Ooh, it looks terrifying! Orobashi was the one who brought our ancestors from Menkonomiya to the surface. That's the origin of the Watatsumi Island you know today. Our ancestors regarded it as a guardian deity. But during the Archon War... Orobashi invaded Yashiori Island. The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Orobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. 
that same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible! Yes, but the Archon War was brutal. <coughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They say the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way, too. Since Orobashi's death, there has always been <coughs> some animosity between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, but our different beliefs have nothing to do with why the Resistance was formed. We only rose up to fight against the Vision Hunt Decree. When Orobashi attacked civilization, the Shogun stood up and put a stop to it. But now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <coughs> All right, I'm heading back. I was just dealing with some of the Shogun's elite samurai, so I think I'm gonna take a quick breather, and it's on to my next assignment. You should report back to Sangonomiya as soon as possible. Don't stay here longer than you need to. Being around the Tatarigami too long won't do your health any good. <coughs> hey, don't worry about me. Peak condition. He sure made some big progress if he's already dealing with Shogunate Samurai. Paimon can hardly believe it. Let's report back to Kokomi. Kokomi, we're back! Oh, look, Goro's here too! Uh, what happened? They look so serious. Approximately how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi, Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? Well, most of the officers refuse to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Do you know something about this? So that means our secret sponsor is the Fatui? But why would the Fatui do this? Uh, forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Pepe! Oh. <coughs> hey, guys. What are you doing here? Just a moment. Let me, let me get up. <sighs> it's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Hmm? Oh, right. Yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Fighting <coughs> the Shogun's army at sea, taking on Shogunate Samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from, from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. Um... It wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, a secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, 
I've never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. It's illusion. <coughs> oh god. That doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? <coughs> Gosh. Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. At first, I'd find I was a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I, I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey. Would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here, <coughs> and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. Tepe. I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the band, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but... They still intend to keep using them. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? No, it's too dangerous. The Sakoku Decree is still in force, so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria. And if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their dilutions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs, near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you. But please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Huh? You mean, to the Delusion Factory? Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Ugh, fine.
beg for mercy. Tom! Kill Joy! We've only just begun. Into <laughs> future! This was well done! You need to hurry up! Kill Joy! Decided by just Leave uh, my space! All you got? Ah. Ah. You can't run! Well, this was too uh, Looks like I went to you. Let me scrap! An unfortunate fault! Ah. There is no escape! Shut up! I condemn you! Shine down! So quiet! Get out of our way! Is that all you got? You can't run! 
actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. So, you're another Fatui Harbinger? Like Senora and Child? Senora and Child. <laughs> I didn't know you and my two least reliable colleagues were acquainted. I'm the Balladeer. Number six of the Fatui Harbingers. Delighted to meet you, almighty oh, traveler. So many visitors today. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <sighs> Didn't have you down as being so weak. How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die, with or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Do you have any idea how useful the vision hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interests. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world. Trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't you think? So, the Fatui started the Vision Hunt Decree? You've been behind it all along? From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. 
Take your friend in the Resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. Hey, calm down! Oh, uh, no! <laughs> 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 That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills his factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Get up! <laughs> Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Oh, you recognize me right away. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. you about something. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other shrine maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society, <sighs> at the moment anyway, and I'm just doing as I please. Uh, Paimon didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off her backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm, maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm, the delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, that Songonomi Kokomi, she really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person, but alas, Belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. You've 
Met her, right? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Yes, the true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? <sighs> because this is the Raiden Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of- The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by, uh, hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because... She has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say... Well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? anti Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along.